right, so we're back. We're back with the iPhone versus Note 8 scenario. Obviously, I read all the comments. You might think I don't read the comments, but your boy is reading the comments. First thing, you guys were saying, yo, what's up? You need to change your background. I did. It's it's looking cool now. But on to the juicy stuff, the Note 8 versus the iPhone 10. I made this video comparing these two phones. Annie all roasted me saying that the Note 8 is the best phone in the world. It has the best display. I don't, and you just didn't believe me that the iPhone 8 display, the iPhone 10 display is way better than the, the Note 8. And I was saying the iPhone 10 display got brighter than the Note 8 and you guys still didn't believe me. So I did a little bit of research and here's what I found from Tom's guide. So it says that the fact that the Note 8 is obviously the iPhone X display is brighter. It came in at 574 nits. The Google Pixel 2 came in at 438 nits. The Galaxy Note 8 came in at 408 nits. And the smartphone average is 433 nits. Now, I didn't know that the Note 8 had a lower nit brightness than the iPhone 10. But I knew for a fact off the jump by just looking at these phones that the iPhone 10 was brighter. I'm not like being an Apple fanboy, Apple sheep, blah, blah, whatever you guys call it. I was just being straight up honest. But obviously you guys can't tell the truth. The truth hurts. And you just came at me in the comment section like, bah, 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 yo, the Note 8 is the best phone in the world. Oh my God. Just calm down. I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just being honest. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how bright the iPhone 10 gets. It's flipping 6 p.m. in Canada right now. And outside is already dark because you guys were saying that the Note 8 performs better outside and the iPhone 10 performs better inside. But anyways, we're going to test the, the picture quality, the pixel density. So yeah, let's jump into the video and show you guys what I saw and what I saw to make that video. Well, any further ado, let's go. This nigga stupid. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Off the jump, I could tell this is gonna be a tough one. Um, all right, let's see. Let me show you guys the brightness settings. The iPhone is maxed out right now. This is when it's all the way down. You know what I'm saying? This is the Note 8 maxed out. This is the Note 8 all the way down. So we're just gonna put it in the middle at right now. Basically in the middle. I'm going to jump into the settings of the Note 8 to show you guys that it's in all the settings that you would want. Auto brightness is off. I'm going into the iPhone. Display and brightness. Auto brightness. Oh yeah. Let me find auto brightness. So auto brightness is on the magnifier in the iPhone. You can see it's off. All right. So all that being said, guys, let me go into the screen resolution. You can see it's maxed out and everything. Apply. Everything's maxed out on the Note. All right, let's go. So this is the Note 8, guys. I'm going to max out the brightness on the Note 8. Fully maxed out. You see it's red. That's when you know it's fully maxed out. So that's that's the Note 8 for you. Let's max out the iPhone 10 right now. Boom. Tell me you can't see the difference right here. If you do not see the difference right here, I don't know what to tell you, guys. I honestly do not know what to tell you. All right, let's jump into Safari. And we're going to check out some like like oled iphone x you can see off the jump how dull the note 8 is it's it's ridiculous it's actually ridiculous i don't know if i'm doing something wrong but here's my iphone 8 plus and you can see my iphone 8 plus is nearly on the same level with the note 8 i'm trying to tell you how bright this iphone 10 gets but you guys just do not believe me it's superior with brightness. First of all, I just want to give a huge apology to all the Android and Note 8 supporters that are on my channel for some strange reason. Um, but yeah, I've done some research and I've realized that with the Note 8, when it's in direct sunlight, it gets brighter than the iPhone 10. I'm still sticking to my facts that the iPhone 10's display looks much sharper but I'll take away my fact that the iPhone 10 has the brightest display on the market. I still have my thoughts that the iPhone 10 has the best color reproduction system in the display, all thanks to Samsung. 
But when it comes down to the screen brightness part, I said that the iPhone 10 has the brighter screen, when in fact, the Note 8 has the brighter screen. So what I did was I turned it up, I turned on auto brightness on the Note 8. So this is the iPhone at full brightness right now. And let me go into Twitter right here. This is the Note 8 out of brightness, but maxed out to full brightness. Now, obviously, the iPhone is the brighter one here. Let me turn off the lights in here. So, so far, you can see that the iPhone is the brighter one. All lights off. Blue light off. This light off. All right, so most of the lights in the house are off right now. And it's clear to see that the iPhone 10 is brighter right here. But when you walk into direct sunlight, that's when you would need that brightness. So you can see the Note 8 is going down in brightness because of that auto brightness. So we'll turn it back up. And that's the full brightness right there. But if I shine a light onto it, which I have this newer LED light, I'm going to max it out to the full brightness. Put it over the Note 8 display. And when I lift this up, you're going to see how bright the Note 8 is. So after lifting it up, you can see the Note 8 was brighter than the iPhone 10, And that's useful for when you're using it outside. And that's really cool. I didn't know about that. Um, the guys in the comment section told me about it. That's super cool and useful. It's better to have a brighter display outside than inside, of course. So I'm going to do it again. You can see the display is building up, which is awesome. I didn't know about this. If I move it. You can see how bright it is than the iPhone 10, and it's going back down to the iPhone 10 level right now. So yeah, I just wanted to add this into the video for you guys, but I still stick to the fact that my iPhone 10 has the better color reproduction and sharpness. So yeah, that's all I had to add to this video, guys. Thanks for letting me know about this feature. It's really useful for outside use, of course. You can see it's brighter than the iPhone 10. Now it's going back down because there's not enough sunlight blasting at it we're gonna look at color shifting right now so let's see what we can get out of this if you shift the iphone you can see a little bit of blue but it's nothing drastic if you shift it off axis it's nothing too crazy who the hell looks at their phone this way anyways with the note 8 we shift it same thing that's what I hate about the Note 8. I hate this, this side. This, it's just annoying. The bleeds on it, the way how it curves, I don't like that. You can see a little bit of blue tint right here on both the devices. As I said before, it's nothing Google Pixel too crazy. The Note 8 looks like it has more blue tint, to be honest. I might be wrong. Let me know. I kind of see the, I kind of see more blue tint on the Note 8. Let me know, though. Let me know. <laughs> I kind of see it. You guys tell me. All right. I got some photos to look at also. <sighs> I didn't want to make this video to embarrass the, the Note 8 guys, but you asked for it. All right. First off, we're going to look at this one, which is a bright wallpaper. All right, guys. This is basically a personal preference. You can see already how bright the, the iPhone 10 is. Look, look at the whites up here. Look at the whites right there. Full brightness in all of them. Let me just double check. Full brightness. So you guys know I'm not bullshitting. Full brightness. Outer brightness is off. You know what I'm saying? Outer brightness is off and everything. All right, so here we go. We can see the yellow right here on the iPhone 10, and the yellow right here on the Note 8. I'm not like a, a freaking color guy or anything like that. But I'm sure that this wallpaper in the back is supposed to be white. I don't know why it looks blue on the Note 8. That's because the Note 8 is not color accurate enough. And according to Tom's review guide, they said that the iPhone 10 is the most accurate iPhone, the most accurate OLED panel out there in the world right now. But this video is basically to show you guys the screen brightness thing because you didn't believe me. Here's another image. You can see how bright the iPhone 10 is already. Let's zoom in. That notch. Look at these two photos, guys. You tell me what, what looks better. The Note 8 or the iPhone 10. Let me know. 
let me know down below. One more picture. We have this fish. We can already see off the jump how oversaturated the Galaxy Note 8 is. Nothing's wrong with that though. If you want to be oversaturated, go for it. See your phone. I'm just making this video to show you guys that the iPhone 10 is actually brighter than the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I'm going to turn off the lights so you guys could see more. All right, so the lights off right here. We can obviously see again which phone is brighter and you guessed it. That's the iPhone 10. Do we need all this brightness? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Let's go on the internet again. You could already see how bright the iPhone 10 is right here, guys. If you don't see it, you're being super biased and untruthful towards yourself you know what I'm saying you don't need to be this untruthful in your life iPhone X Gex you know did cost blah blah yeah so this um wraps up my point big shot man's not hot man's never hot he don't know. <laughs> Man's hungry. <laughs> Man's always hungry. <laughs> that wraps up the video. Um, I proved the point between these two phones, guys. You're saying that the iPhone 10 was was not brighter than the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. As I said before, I didn't get to test the phones outside, but why do we need to test it outside? Who uses their phone to watch videos outside? I might do it tomorrow though, just because I want this video to be complete as possible. And yeah, thank you Samsung for making this awesome screen.